this is Brian Gilliatti. I'm back in old Lyme again. Romping around the woods, looking for more lithic calendar systems. And I found a fairly complex one. It has at least three parts so far. In any case, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start in the middle area. I'm going to call this sector of the uh, calendar system the uh, valley calendar system because it seems to be associated with the valley right here. And I'm going to start right here with this very impressive glacial boulder. I do believe that um, it was put here naturally. I don't believe that uh, deliberate manipulation outside of natural forces put this uh, boulder here, but that doesn't mean that uh, it could have been integrated as a landscape feature and that uh, made up a larger calendar system that did consist of uh, manipulated uh, rocks and whatnot. If you uh, look here, um, in the valley, so to speak, you'll see in front of me and right next to the glacial erratic here is a smaller associated stone. And it looks like it has two very small uh, ceremonial placement stones placed on top of the associated stone. Um, <clears throat> so uh, right off the bat, first thing I saw was uh, keep going. Whoops. Interesting. Could this have been an observation area right here? Hmm. It could have been. The observer could have stood right here and made observations. And one of the things they probably observed was what I call the hillside glacial erratic right there. This happens to be in a 150 slash 330 degree relationship with our friend the glacial, large glacial erratic boulder. I keep moving in a 150 slash 330 degree azimuth. <clears throat> and um, I wonder if there are any other stones that might be associated. Look at that. It's probably another uh, ceremonial placement stone right there. And um, I poked around. And I said, well, logically, if there is, it's probably on the other side of the valley over there. And so... Moved across the valley. And lo and behold, there is what I call really, well, you can call it a cliff edge stone if you want, or it could be a bedrock boulder because it is on bedrock. And I remember uh, the azimuth reading for this one was 105 degrees. Look at that, the sun. It's almost like rising right up above it. What do you know? I don't know if the sun broke the horizon at the point indicated by the uh, 
bedrock slash cliff edge stone, but it's still pretty intense. In any case, this is 105 degrees from um, the uh, hillside boulder over there, which you probably will have a hard time seeing due to the foliage. And uh, I also asked myself if this same boulder here is related back to our friend, the large glacial erratic, which is back across the valley and which you will have a very hard time seeing. It is, it does have a, an, an azimuth and a multiple of 30. If I remember correctly, I believe it was 120 slash 300. A lot of stuff to remember, a lot of numbers. These uh, sites are very interconnected and complex. I will confirm that, however.